curl. So it's bridging with the breathing bar. All right. Just press down gently into the arms. Raise the hips up. Good. Lower the hip, lift the hip. Just pulse up for three, for two, for one. Keep the hips high. Pulse the arm just for four, three, two, one. Keep pressing into the bar. Roll the spine back down again, one vertebra at a time. Once the tailbone touches, the arms float up. Good. This time, push the hips up and press the bar down at the same time. So press right up on one, hold it for three, two, one. Exhale, roll down and the bar floats up. Good. Two more like that. Inhale, lift right up, press the bar down, stay there, hold it for three, two, one. Exhale, lower, lower, lower. One more like that. Inhale, right up. Hug it, hold it, stay there for three, two, one. Exhale, lower, lower, lower. Turning it into marching, you're gonna rise right up, lift the hips, press the bar down, and hold. Okay, comfortable tension with the arms. See if you can take your right foot up. Good, and then put it down. And then take the left foot up and put it down. So this could be done without the bar also, just with the arms up in the air. One foot and then the other. The goal is to keep the pelvis stable. Okay. The leg can stay close to the floor. It could come up high. But the most important thing is keeping the pelvis stable. You can work with the breathing bar or you could just have the arms up in the air. Good. Try two more on each side. Good. Last time. Great. And then keep the pressure on the bar as you roll the spine down. One vertebra at a time. Let the tailbone touch. Float the bar up. Good. Release the bar, bring the arms by your sides. 